And the Grammy goes to... It's my turn. Chance the Rapper. Glory be to God, I claim the victory in the name of the Lord, let's go! Yo, what up, what's poppin'? It's me, Josh O2 Sonya, here again. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to be likable, like Chance the Rapper. Stay tuned to the end where I leave a bonus clip from Chance the Rapper himself on how to be successful. Now for those that don't know, Chance the Rapper is a rapper, you couldn't tell by his name already, who's known not only for his amazing music, but all of his amazing efforts to better those around him, specifically for the city of Chicago. And anyone who knows, knows that Chance the Rapper is insanely likable. He is one of the most likable people out there in the hip hop game. So without a further ado, let's jump into it. Let's see what are some things that you can learn from him on how to be a likable person. Okay, first off, right off the bat, Adopt a giving mentality. One thing you notice about Chance is that he gives a lot and he gives often. So if you're selfish, you're doing it wrong. He gives a lot to the city of Chicago. He's raised money, he's donated to charities. He started Social Works, which is a youth empowerment charity that promotes the creativity and positivity of the youth. In fact, even through that, he started an open mic where all the youth of Chicago could come together and share their art and get together and spread love and positivity. That's amazing. He even had celebrity guest appearances from like Kanye West to Vic Mensa, Mick Jenkins, and more, Chicago favorites. Further add on to that, in this next clip, you'll see Chance the Rapper donating one million dollars of his own money to Chicago Public Schools. And if you don't know anything about Chicago Public Schools, they're not doing too hot. They're not great. They're pretty bad. In fact, the only good thing Chicago Public Schools have done is not teach R. Kelly how to read. I'm proud to announce that I am donating one million dollars to CPS. To CPS to support arts and enrichment programming. I'll, 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 I'll hand it over. It's just a picture. Yeah. Here, you guys hold it. There we go. Because when you give, you better those around you. It makes people feel good. Part of being likable is making people feel good. And when you give and you consistently make people around you feel good, you promote reciprocity where people feel the urge or the need to want to do good for you as well. So right now with Chance the Rapper, he's got Chicago's back and the city of Chicago has got his back. This is powerful, insanely powerful. Now I also want to note that while it's important to give, it's more powerful when it's genuine. So don't just be giving like you don't really want to give. People sense that, they feel that. Because I'll tell you what, Chance genuinely loves Chicago, he genuinely loves people, he genuinely loves helping the youth. So when he gives, you feel that, you feel that authenticity and people love it. Next point, have inspiring work. Now, Chance the Rapper is arguably the most successful independent artist in hip hop, or at least the first person to really pioneer it. And his music itself is insanely accessible. It is so, everyone can listen to it, from old people to young people to little kids to everybody. And his music is so positive that people actually liken it to gospel rap. Whatever. Still Some good. people have called what you do gospel rap. Well, is that an accurate portrayal? I wouldn't say I make gospel rap or Christian rap, but I am a Christian rapper. I'm a, I'm a Christian, so, yeah. <laughs> it's a great audience. He doesn't have to now what does this mean for you? It means that whatever your, your craft is or your work is to take it seriously. Perfecting your craft or taking your work seriously inspires those within your niche. And at extreme levels, you inspire those outside of your niche. I can't tell you how many times I've been in Ubers when I used to live in Chicago and the Uber driver would be like, you know, I don't really listen to much of that hip hop rap music, but that chance the rapping guy is amazing, I love him. So whatever it is, like for example, I work at a sales job. I got coworkers here that they take their job and the craft of selling so seriously. They study, they read books. They, they always try to tweak their methods and their strategies on how to be better. And it's inspiring. I'm sitting there like, man, this sound amazing on the phone. They close so many deals. So apply that concept to your life. Take things more seriously and you'll inspire those around you. Next point, he represents ideal values. Now, as we already mentioned, he's a giver. He's a man of God. He's insanely talented. He wants to see people around him succeed. He's also a family man who's an amazing father to his little daughter, Kinsley. And he just got married to the love of his life, Kirsten Corley. <laughs> Kinsley. <laughs> that one. 
one time. Damn, we don't wanna. We don't wanna. Hey, we don't wanna. Hey, this is going down. This is a hood classic. <laughs> We don't wanna. <laughs> like, yo, at such a young age, he's in his mid 20s. He's like 25, he's my age. He is the embodiment of a lot of values that people are either striving to see in themselves or wanna instill in the younger generations. Now, what does this mean for you? It means that you gotta represent something that people wanna see in themselves. Now, Chance, like we mentioned before, represents a lot of different things. But you can just start with one thing. For example, someone like Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, is widely respected for his mental toughness and his ability to stand courageously in crucial situations and step up to the plate. People everywhere respect that. So pick something close to who you are that you could fully embody. Next point, he's insanely humble. Let's be real, Chance has every right to be super cocky. He could be an arrogant, overly confident dude. For his age, he's achieved massive success. This dude's won Grammys already with no, he's an independent artist. Are you kidding me? But when he talks, he still comes off as someone who's just thankful to be there. Merchandise and touring has been, uh the thing that has kept me and my girl and my, my daughter afloat, you know what I'm saying? And it's 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 big thing. We saw each other at uh, the president's birthday party, and I walked <laughs> up to, to uh, Chance and I was like, you've got to be on the show, you've got to be on the show. And so I'm so thrilled because, uh, you know, I was, I'm just a fan and you're, you're amazing. You're amazing, and that means so much that you actually did bring me on the show, because when you said that, we were, at, we were at a White House party, and I don't get invited to White House parties, but I was, <laughs> I was, I was in it, I was reveling in it, I was drunk, and like, I couldn't remember it. <laughs> It, when, when, you said that, when you said that to me, I was telling stories like, yeah, man, Ellen, she said she's gonna have me on the show. And I was like, did she say that or was that? Yeah. So. That right there is huge because subconsciously, people are always gonna be a teeny bit jealous of that kind of success or anyone who's really successful. Like if you were to go into interviews and be like, Psh, all y'all need to step your games up, okay? You've been working at this for what, 10 years? Psh, I blew up in two years. Step it up, you suck, I'm better than you. Uh. It would instantly be off-putting because he's rubbing it in every single artist who's trying to make its face that he's better than them. But by staying humble, he's letting you know that he's just happy. He's just thankful to be where he's at. And it's hard to hate on that because he's not making you feel bad. He's not making you feel like crap. Now this next clip is a bonus tip from Chance the Rapper that I've found that I know that you can apply to your life regardless of what you're trying to do, whether you're in business or you're another musician. This clip is from another YouTuber named Robin Neal TV who actually knew Chance the Rapper growing up. They went to the same school together as well. I'll put a link to her channel down below in the description box. You're a positive role model. You do a lot of great things in the media. For people that want to pursue a career, say in music, entertainment, what advice would you give them? Hmm. The best advice I could give you is, sorry. The best advice I would give somebody that's um, making music that wants to like break into the industry or take it to the next level or like you know, finally really start their career is that one thing they should know is that they've already started their career and they're, um, there's like this idea of like a threshold that you have to get past to be, you know, to become an artist or become a um, musician or an actor or a journalist or whatever. But in reality, like you're already doing it. And those thresholds are created by people that, you know, want to have some type of, of power or say in who's official and who's unofficial. But like, if you've been writing raps since you were seven, you've been a rapper since you were seven. If you've been wanting to be in movies and acting and going out to auditions and taking classes, then you're an actor, you know? Um, obviously there's individual successes to everybody where, Certain people are like, yo, I'm not really a rapper until I get to perform at the Hip Hop Awards, or I'm not really an actor until I'm this. But it's like, don't sell yourself short. Don't ever think that you're not in this shit yet because you haven't signed a deal or got, you know, all the, you know, accolades that you want or awards that you want. It's like, you're actively an actor by trying to be one. You're actively a rapper by trying to make songs constantly and you don't always have to fit into you know whatever the you know i don't know the the it's not a circle it's a box yeah for more videos click over here thank you so much for watching love you peace you know you're like the first unsigned artist to ever host the show like that's the thing that i 
I think that you've done that. You changed the game. You, do, you don't have a label. You, yeah. don't, you don't have a label, and then yet you just you 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 won you won Grammys.